Hi guys, Squirrel here. I'm back. I'm back. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Where the heck have you been, Squirrel? Where are the videos? I'm really sorry, guys, honestly. We'll, we'll talk about this when we get going here. Uh, I have been absent for a notable period of time on YouTube, and I'm completely aware of it, and I do apologize to all of you sincerely for that. Um, but let's, let's get some trucking, and uh, we'll talk about some stuff. We'll talk about what I've been doing, uh, my plans for the future, etc. Uh, first of all, let's have a quick look at this truck. What a beautiful truck. Look at this. Look at that gorgeous truck there. It's a DAF XF 105. Uh, it's got a 450 horsepower engine, 330 kilowatts approximately. Uh, it's a 6 by 2 slash 4 midlift, as you can see. And we are about to collect something reasonably heavy. Let me just uh, quickly reverse in here. And uh, reset that. There we go. We'll pick this up and I'll show you where we're going. Oh, hang on. Would help if I turn the parking brake off. I missed. Ever so slightly. I think it's about... There we go. About that. Let's connect the trailer. Now, let's have a look. We're going to head... Uh, we're in Italy. And we're going to take this thing, which is a 44-ton asphalt miller. Hang on. Press the wrong key. So it's a milling machine. Uh, and we are going to be travelling... A bit of ferry. We're Catanzaro here. Uh, we're going to travel up the west coast of Italy, up the A2, to Naples, taking the ferry over to Sicily. Cagliari, not Sicily, that's not Sicily. That's Sicily. We're taking <laughs> taking the ferry to Cagliari, then it's a local drop. So a big chunk of this is actually a ferry journey. Uh, but let me just have a quick look at the back of this thing. Uh, I suspect it may have a rear beacon. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have a rear beacon, apparently. Okay, no worries. Um, so yeah, quite a long journey. I think it's a steering axle trailer. I sincerely hope it is, because getting out of here is quite tricky with that container right in the way. We'll just pull it forward a bit. It's really heavy, oh my life. And then we'll see. Yeah, it's steering. However, there's a good chance it's going to hit the trailer next to it. It's going to turn into it, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Ooh. This is going to be a very interesting run. It's not that far. It's 700 kilometers to drive. Uh, well, distance-wise, but it's only about 360 driving. It's split roughly 50-50 between the ferry and the, and the road. So uh, it's not quite as bad as it looks. But there's a very real danger. Turn left that we are going to get stuck on something as we make a turn. We'll have to be careful with that axle. Those steering axles at the back can turn really right. catch you out if you're not careful. Even coming out of somewhere like that, you can catch the gatepost with it. But it looks like we're in the clear. Good stuff. All right, so, right. The That's the truck. That's the journey sorted out. Let's talk about some other things. So, where have I been? Why have I not made any videos for months? What have I been doing? Well, hmm. There isn't a single answer to this question. There isn't a one simple reason as to why I've not been making videos. There's a few things been going on. Uh, which have all sort of added up, I guess, is the way to look at it. It started off, I guess, January was always planned for me to completely redo my gaming studio. So that is, you know, happy to say pretty much done now. Um, gutted the place completely. Like, I mean, removed everything. Redid a lot of the electrical wiring, redid the lighting in there, uh, painted the whole thing, carpet went down. Networking was completely changed, new monitors, new desk, like everything was redone. I wanted, I've had it, I've had this this room for about 10 years. 
Um, and when I originally kind of converted it, it had a very different um, set of requirements to what I have now. Let me put it that way. So a lot of that was down to... I, I plan to spend a lot of January, which is, you know, notorious on YouTube for being a quiet time. Uh, advertisers don't tend to spend money in January. They spend it all in November and December. So a lot of YouTubers who want to take any kind of a break and do things, do it in January. That's generally how it works. Right. Um, so there was that. Right. That went on for a lot longer than I thought it would. That actually went on for well over two months and not one right. month. So there was that. Another thing is, we're just pure and simple burnout. So you've probably heard that phrase before. Uh, content creators getting burned out. You think, what's going on? You're living the dream job. You know, you're making, you're making gaming videos for a living. How can you burn out on this? I, I would love to come home and play games all day. Oh, well, right. you do. It's a thing. It just happens. You kind of burn out from making stuff. You burn out from trying to think of things to do. You, you know... If you do a job long enough, it doesn't matter what it is, you, you, it can get to you after a while and you just need to take, step back and just take a break. And so there was an element of that. There was an element of health uh, issues going on with me, um, which I'm not going to go into great detail about, but, you know, I was concerned for my health at one point. Um, I had uh, problems with my, my lower back and my tailbone pain and all the rest of it from sitting down so much and feel just generally lousy I was given medication to take by the doctor and so that added up and then of course mentally it starts to sort of get to you a little bit then you get worried that you should be making content but you don't feel like you want to make content and the whole thing spirals out of control so you know that was a number of things that have been going on over the last few months and if anybody if you've ever had a gym membership this is the way I liken it. If you've ever had a gym membership and then you don't go to the gym for months, the hardest thing is going back to the gym the first time. It really is ridiculous. Like making this first video to, as a comeback is really, like it's taken me days just to sit down and, and plan what I'm gonna do here and make this video for you guys. It sounds absurd. Like I've been making videos for years, but when you take a break this long, it feels very odd sitting down and doing it again. Um, but I've gone over it. I'm here, right? I'm here. Looking forward, however, things are looking quite nice, actually. Um, I, I've been filming the, the studio rebuild I've been telling you about. I filmed it as a kind of a, a vlog. I've kind of done it, you know, various takes as I did the journey. So you can kind of follow me on the journey a little bit. You'll see the studio as it was. You'll see me tear it apart and rebuild it, and then you'll see it, you know, basically as it is today. So there's a lot of work that you'll get to see. That video is still in the process of being made. Um, it's not finished yet, but it will make a very interesting video for a lot of you guys uh, when it's done. Another thing is, for the very first time in my life, I got myself um, a racing rig. You know, the kind of rig where you sit down in and actually have pedals and a wheel mounted and monitors and all that. I've never had one in my life. Um, but I've been working with Simlabs, who make a fantastic rig called the P1X. And um, I've now got that in place. And I've got it up and running for uh, trucking, for racing. And I'm about to make it work for flying as well, for flight simulation. So there'll be a few deep dive videos on that coming in the near future uh, I'll explain everything that I did like how I did it uh, you'll, you'll have a complete tour of my studio and the Simlab rig and it, yeah I think it'll be really interesting for you guys to see all that um, and the kind of setup I'm now sitting in I'm literally sat in my brand new rig now I'm not sat at my desk as I have been for years um, it's, it's pretty cool so you'll get to see that um Obviously, at the moment, with the situation, with the certain kind of virus that's going around, things are a bit tricky. Uh, one of the things that I've been doing is building a brand new PC uh, that's going to take me forward for the next few years through the next you know, flight simulator that's coming, the Microsoft Flight Simulator, and other titles that are quite demanding. Uh, it's a very high-end build, and I've been filming the the build of that PC, so you'll get to see that PC built, it'll be custom water cooled, so again, very interesting video, 
Uh, but because of the current virus situation, some of the parts are being a bit delayed getting here. So I can't finish the video off yet, and I don't have the new PC just yet. But again, give it a few weeks, and hopefully that thing will, will play out, and um, we can get going. In terms of gaming content, um, I'm going to focus on simulator titles, of course. That's the bread and butter of this channel, you know, my trucking, my trains, uh, flight stuff, all that is going to be here. No problem, especially on the flight simulator side of things. Given what's going on with the new Microsoft Flight Sim, I will be covering that uh, when I'm able to. And DCS is something that I want to bring to the channel and uh, show you guys some, some of the military combat sim stuff. So there's going to be a lot of that. There's also going to be some what I would call sim adjacent titles. What does that mean? It means it means games that are fun and interesting to play. They're not necessarily hardcore simulation, but they're kind of interesting from a like an engineering or creation perspective. So something like, for example, Stormworks Build and Rescue uh, isn't you couldn't really put it in the simulator bracket, but it is a lot of engineering and logic stuff that you that you need to use to build to construct vehicles that you can then use to perform rescues. I find games like that really fun and interesting and you know you learn a lot by doing it and some of the stuff that you can create is amazing. So the reason for doing this kind of uh, sim adjacent stuff is because I want to keep the content flowing for you guys like I want to make the videos. I don't want to be in this situation where I burn out and, and things get to this state. We need to try and avoid that. Um, it's not fair on you and it's not good for me. So I need to be able to produce some content a bit more quickly. The problem with simulator titles is you can easily spend hours, like two, three, four hours, uh, planning and executing a simulator video, um, which is, you know, if you think about that, if you want to make a few videos a week, that's a lot of time just to make those videos. I need to have some kind of content that I can turn around a bit more quickly, uh, something which is a bit more lightweight, um, but so that you guys have still got my content and I'm kind of able to uh, produce it quicker. Something like Stormworks, for example, you know, you can sit down with an idea and just and start executing and recording straight away. So I should be able to get content out a bit more quickly while still producing the simulator stuff as well. And hopefully, you know, I won't burn out because it won't be as taxing. So that's the idea. So yes, you'll still get the bread and butter sim, but there'll be, you know, other bits and pieces kicking around as well so that's something to look forward to um obviously euro truck is moving forward at the pace that it moves forward you know looking back at this channel and euro truck I, i've done most things in this game i've driven almost every truck probably every truck um driven most of the map um taken all the fun trailers the stuff that comes out from SCS, it comes out at a steady kind of pace, but there's not enough there to, you know, make videos regularly without them just being me sat in a truck and driving. Um, you know, I don't want to make content where I'm just chatting about nothing and driving. Like, I know, I know I can make content like that, but I do need to sit back and think about what I want to talk about. And quite frankly, if you do it too much, you run out of things to talk about. And the last thing I want to do is make videos that aren't interesting. Um, so there's, there has to be other games involved that have more content for me to cover. And obviously Flight Simulation is definitely one of those titles, um, given what's going on in the world of Flight Sim this year. And the sheer amount of planes and the places that you can go to, like, there's going to be never-ending content there, really. So that's definitely going to be something uh, I will make and also stuff which I can turn around quicker. That is the general plan um, for the content certainly in 2020 uh, from a high level. Let's see what we are. We're halfway up the A2 by the look of it. How are we doing for fuel? We're a little bit low on fuel actually. I think I might just pull in here and grab better fuel. There's a service station coming up because it's an 800 litre tank on this thing and we've probably got 200 litres, 250 litres maybe, which should probably be enough, but I think we'll just take a slight detour here and grab the fuel while it's available. Let's see where we're going. 
Now it's right for trucks, um, but I think that's for parking. Turn right. I think we go this way for fuel, if I remember. I might have got this completely wrong. I may well have got this completely wrong. Hmm. I got this completely wrong. <laughs> so yeah, it was right for trucks and the fueling's on the other side. I've been to these service stations where it's... You go to the truck side. I was in one just the other day. You go to the right for the trucks and it takes you to the parking area for trucks, but you can't get the fuel. At that one, I could have got the fuel. Oh well. I think there was another another fuel station coming up, if I remember. Yeah, there's another one, but I think that's not actually on the A road. Uh, how are we doing for fuel? Let's have a look. Average fuel, 31 litres per 100 k's. We've probably got a couple of hundred driving. I think we'll be fine, to be honest. I don't think we needed that particularly. We should be, uh, should be okay. Let's get in the right gear. This thing's pretty heavy. Um, right, so what else is happening right now? Well, you're watching this. Uh, well, this video is released on the 2nd of April. And the 2nd of April is a little bit of a special date for me. It's not my birthday. So, you know, it's not that. My birthday is actually on the 26th of April, in case you didn't know. Um, 2nd of April is the day that I went uh, full-time as a content creator. Now, let me just explain that what that means. I'm not a full-time Twitch streamer, and I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm a full-time content creator. It kind of means that I split my time between the two things sometimes as you've noticed very badly but that's the idea is i split my time between the two things back in 2015 on the 2nd of april i went full time i i quit my job a few weeks earlier i spent the previous year saving money to make sure that you know if the money didn't come in i could i could go back to work and run on live on my savings and oh, i'll just move over before the ai pulls out me and uh, on the 2nd of April 2015, I I went full-time doing this. And that was a big, big day. And when we started it, I say we, this was mostly over on Twitch, but it applies everywhere. We, we called it Year of the Squirrel. It was the year that I went full-time, and we called it Year of the Squirrel, which got abbreviated to YOTS, Y-O-T-S. And so every 2nd of April is a kind of a celebration of me doing this another year. And that was five years ago. I've been doing this for five years. It's actually insane. I never thought I could do it for this long. And Well, when I say that, I mean, I never thought you guys would want me to do it this long because at the end of the day, I rely on you guys to do this. It's literally because of your support that I can do this. People like you watch my videos, you share them, you watch my streams, you buy the merch, etc. The reason I can do this is because the money comes in that allows me to pay my mortgage which means I can carry on doing this because frankly if I couldn't pay my mortgage I couldn't do it anyway speaking of merch <laughs> every year every year we create a t-shirt or a hoodie to celebrate another year of doing it another yacht shirt as it's called this year no difference below the video hopefully you'll see a little teespring ad for my yacht t-shirt if not it's in the video description it's quite a cool design this year, so, you know, if you fancy only one, click on the link and go and have a look. You'll see YOTS and like a green, and you can buy the t-shirt and hoodie in different colours. I really, really like the design of the t-shirt this year, so um, if it's something you fancy, go and get yourself one. Teespring are still making this stuff, even though the situation's ongoing, as you know, with the virus. But they are still shipping them. Uh, so, yeah, if it's something you want to do, go and grab yourself one. Um, also, I want to ask you guys something. For fun, I thought maybe while we're doing this whole yacht celebration thing, I thought maybe it would be a fun thing to ask you guys for ideas to make a special video. Like, well, special videos. And by that I mean... You know, some kind of maybe like a, a crazy trucking challenge or some crazy mods that you've seen. 
please tell me this is an auto. <laughs> you know, some kind of crazy mods that you've seen, or maybe a retro sim video game that you know about that perhaps you played as a kid or I played as a kid. Um, it's so bad that it's funny kind of sim. You know, anything, anything like that to celebrate this kind of another year of the squirrel thing. Um, let me know. I leave a form right. in the video description. Right. Oh, hang on. I think I need to go that way. Take the exit right. We're good. I'll leave a link to the form in the video description. It'll be a very short form, very go simple. Uh, so you can submit your idea if you've got one. And um, I'll have a look through. And if we get some submissions and they sound quite cool, I will make some fun videos in April. But just for the month of April. You know, just as a, a celebration thing. Try and give me as much info as possible. Like, don't don't submit your idea with, oh, I remember this game, it was about a car and a tree and stuff, and yeah, about 85, 92, whatever. You know, none of that. Just, I need as much info as you can. So if you've got a link to the game, or a link to the mod, or whatever it is, you know, put that in your um, submission. But I'll take the ideas and see what I get. And if there's anything I can work with, um, I will make videos of it. And I'll, I'll say that you submitted it. So, a little bit of stardom for you. <laughs> Are we supposed to be in this lane? I'm hoping this is an auto toll as well. It should be. It's got a green line. Come on, lift, lift, lift. There we go. Now, I'm thinking we can't be that far from the docks. No, we're in Naples. Okay. I've been to Naples, actually. IRL. Not a place you could even go to right now because of what's take going on, right. but I've been to Naples. Then take the exit right. Now, I know, right. I know I've kind of neglected you guys over the last few months, and, you know, once again, I do apologize for that. But I just want to say that there there are a Go few places that I can, third exit. you know, I can recommend to you if ever you're kind of wonder, wondering where I am or wondering where my content is and things like this. Firstly is Twitch. Like, I stream Thursday to Sunday over on Twitch. And just, just jump over, you know, come in and say hi. I've had quite a lot of people doing it, actually. Come over from YouTube going... You know, oh hi, squirrel! Like a, a first time watching your stream. I, I love your videos. Um, and they stuck around. They hit follow button, stick around, watch some streams. I appreciate that a lot of people can't watch when I'm live, and that's perfectly understandable. That is the big downside of live streaming. Is a lot of people will be at work or different time zones, or in bed or whatever when I'm streaming, and prefer to watch YouTube videos. That's fine. Squirrel Plus, which is my second YouTube channel has all the Twitch streams on it. So if you ever want to watch a Twitch stream, there is literally hundreds of videos there. Years worth of my live streams going back. There's tons of content in any of your favorite games. Stuff you've probably never seen before. You know, there's My Summer Car, Euro Truck, American Truck, Bus Simulator, Flight Sim, Racing. Like it goes on and on and on. And I know at the moment, you know, plenty of us are on lockdown. Uh, Take the exit. You might be sick of Netflix. Well, have a look at Squirrel Plus, because there's tons of content there. Uh, last thing is Twitter. Like, I know a lot of you don't use Twitter. You think, nope, it's a social media. It's fine. Just don't follow that many people is the answer. Some people are really spammy on Twitter, and, and a lot of people like that. I'm That's not like that. Uh, I just follow very select people. <laughs> um, but if you go over to Twitter and, you, you know, just... Chuck a just tag me in a question, just say, you know, school, everything okay? You, what's going on? What are the videos? You know, I'll answer. I will answer. So, there's another way you can get in touch with me that way. Right, we're coming up to the Napoli docks. I just hope I can get this monster trailer actually onto the ship properly. Left turn ahead. 
I don't know if you guys have seen the new DLC that's uh, in the works for Euro Truck and American Truck. It's quite cool, actually. Turn some, left. some more maps. We're turning left here. Looks like it. Yeah, American Truck maps are looking pretty exciting. Right turn ahead. Turn it's not that right. right turn, is it? It's the next one. It's this one. I presume that's the the ferry over there. quiet around these roads. I'm just taking my time because frankly if we go down the wrong lane or take the wrong route we'll probably have a, a barrel of laughs trying to reverse this thing back out. So I just want to make sure I get it right the first time. I'm thinking this is probably going to be seven hour crossing or something. It's probably going to be late afternoon, evening by the time we actually land. Our ETA is like gone midnight, so probably going to be a nighttime drop off. Alrighty. Well, we made it to the first bit. Where are we going? We're going to. Cagliari, Palermo's there in Sicily. So I've been to here, I've been to Messina. I took a ferry once, um, a Mediterranean cruise, and it went up through Messina, and it went all up the east coast here. Naples, we went to Rome, Livorno, Marseille. What's all the ferry companies right now? They're in trouble, aren't they? Not a great situation. Let's get lights on. So we are, you know, we are living in strange times, guys. I've never seen anything quite like this situation right now that's going on in the world. And, uh... I hope you're all staying healthy. Staying safe. Left turn. You know, there's people that I know personally who've caught this Turn thing. Left. The one I'm most concerned about. I've known the guy for over 20 years, and he's in his 80s, and he's uh, currently in a hospital on a ventilator. And the worst thing is, I can't even go and see him. And nobody can go and see him. Even his wife can't go and see him. That's truly the worst thing about what's going on. Is you can't actually be visited by friends and family. Imagine sitting there in a hospital on a ventilator and nobody around you do you actually know. It's just awful. But hopefully it will be over. At least in the short term for a while. But in the meantime... In the meantime we can all do our thing, can't we? We can all follow the guidelines. And stop this thing from spreading. And, you know, I'm, I don't feel like I'm in one of the risk groups, shall we say. But frankly, you never know. I mean, there are some young people who've... Had a bad turn, as it were. So the important thing is to stop it spreading and so they can find a vaccine for it. And that's how we're going to save lives, really. Go straight on. But I'm sure you've all been touched by what's going on in one way or another. This thing is... I've never worked out the ambient lighting in this game just seems wrong. Like, everything's, like, super, super dark. Like, the street lighting should have lit my truck. Like, look at the truck in the mirror. Like, you just can't see it. It's crazy. It's like the ambient lighting is wrong. If you drive down a street at night, 
you can see the vehicle quite clearly in the street lights. Anyway, we're almost there, aren't we? Looks like we're going to get there unscathed. But yeah, it's been interesting making this first video for you guys. And I, I hope I... Uh... Whoa, dude! 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 <laughs> Where are you going, bro? You're in the left lane. You're in a daff as well. You're in the left lane and you're cutting into lane one. How does that work? I don't know how far back I can reverse. I can't actually see what's going on behind me. This crazy guy. Come on. Off you go. All right. Yeah, you just take the whole roundabout, bro. It's fine. This truck on my left can do the same thing. Look at that. He went in the left lane on entry to the roundabout, then moves into the outer lane, and then goes all the way around the roundabout. Unbelievable. Just as I say, unscathed. <laughs> I knew that would happen. As soon as I said, oh, we've got away with this, unscathed. Boom, get hit by another another vehicle um so yeah i i know i've explained a few things to you about what's been going on and you know once again i do apologize for lack of content and i my goal is to try and get to a point where i can keep the, the content coming smoothly because i think that's the worst thing is when i just randomly stop making stuff so that will be my focus uh for 2020 to try and get consistency going um, but yeah, come on over to Twitch. Come on, come and say hi on Twitch. Definitely do that. And don't forget the uh, the yachts T-shirt. Have a look at that as well, and submit your ideas for some fun video that I could do in April. Keep left, then. And please don't left. say Boabab Tree because I've already done that. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know I've already done that. As fun as that was, <laughs> that trailer. I feel like I wouldn't want to make another video on it because it would just it would just taint the original, you know. But maybe you know of a trailer similar to that one. Or some fun truck. I think somebody did a somebody did like a one or a two thousand horsepower Scania truck once, I remember that. Years ago. I think I actually tried that out on when I was streaming on Twitch. Go and you put your foot down, this truck just left. took off like a missile. It was insane. Turn left. I also remember having a trailer that was a balloon trailer. It was like lighter than air. It was the most stupid trailer I ever made. It was only made for a bit of fun. But it was like a helium Go balloon. So you had this trailer that just lifted up. As you turned a corner, it was off the ground and it would spin around the truck. It was funny, but very, very silly. Left turn ahead. Aha. Uh -huh. That's going to be a very interesting drop. Turn for a number left. of reasons. First of all, we need to make it in here without smashing the trailer. You have reached your destination. I think I'm going to reverse that down there rather than try and drive it down there and have no way of turning it around. So if we position ourselves here, worst thing is it doing this at night. You can't see what's going on. a little bit. I guess right in between two box trailers. What a nightmare.
This is tricky. I need a banksman for this. Come on, turn. That will do. <laughs> I don't care if my truck isn't straight. <laughs> Let's get this thing dropped off. Oh boy. 386 driven. 180 litres consumed. So yeah. On my way to level 116. Let's move away from this thing. Fantastic. Alrighty. Successful delivery. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. It was good to get some trucking journeys done again. So in the meantime, with all this situation going on, I will try to bring you some light entertainment and uh, give you a nice distraction from the boredom of sitting at home. Um, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to check out the links in the description as I talked about. And I shall see you all very, very soon. So stay healthy and stay safe. And uh, until the next time, guys, take care. Happy trucking.